All right, Louisa, succulents are one of the most popular plants for your garden. They're low maintenance and look beautiful year round. Our Sandra Mitchell is in the garden to show us how to make our very own container to show off those succulents. Hi everyone, we are in the garden with Nick Federoff from Things Green and I understand we're going to make some little planters today. We are. We're going to make these succulent planters and they're going to be custom made. You could do this yourself in a matter of moments. It's really exciting. You're how, going to show uh, us. Oh, I, I am. First we're going to start off with a Plaster of Paris. Now this right here is a gypsum product. Uh, the, where the name came from, Plaster of Paris, is kind of interesting. About 12 million years ago. By the way, actually, this, this is about 9,000 years old, Plaster of Paris. Really? It got its name from a city in Paris. It starts with an M. I can't remember. It has a real long name like that. And what happened was that this, this they, that's where they were mining it from, from mm -hmm. this from particular city. Well, uh, Paris started, they, it burned down. All of, the, all of, all of the, the buildings were made out of wood. Mm -hmm. So the king at that time says, I want you to plaster all of the buildings. Plaster of, of Paris. Paris. That's how it came from. Really? Okay, you can use pla plaster of Paris is the best. I made one out of regular concrete here, mm -hmm. and the problem is, is that it's brittle oh, and it just it's falls just apart. Cracking. Yeah, so don't mess around with that unless you know how to strengthen that, and that's probably going to be another show. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but this one right here is really kind of neat because you're going to create these molds. Molds can be of any shape or size or whatever. These are nothing more than little dollar store gizmos. In fact, this mold was right here. This mold came from right here. There. Yeah, see? So if you were to take that, ooh, look inside. Ah. You see? So you hit, so you could do that as well. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to make this mold right here. Okay. Okay? And all we did is we took a cup that my wife is going to yell at me for for not uh, that thank you. Okay? And then we have just a just a cheap plastic bowl. We have to start with this. Our plaster of Paris needs to be Put inside right here. So we're gonna put our plaster in. So like we're you making could, cake. Yeah. How would you start putting some water in here, sure please? Thing. Okay. And then we need to mix it. So we're gonna do a couple keep of going. these. Yeah. Keep on going. And you're gonna you want a mixture that is around the consistency of a milkshake. Mm. So go ahead and keep that going. Maybe a little bit less, I think. I think we're pretty good with that. Okay. So you can go like that. Why don't you go ahead and, and, and do that? I'll make the milkshake. Or what you can do is that if you wanted to use something like this, which is for mixing paint, you can do so. But the problem with this is that you're going to create a bunch of bubbles, and these bubbles just aren't good for it. Mm. Okay. So don't go in that direction if you're not prepared to have bubbly mixtures. Now, once everything is all mixed together you're going to take and pour this oh that's a good one that's now let's pour, pour that inside go ahead and take that and scoop it scoop it up out of the verbal all right nice now once this is all scooped out there is a way to get the bubbles out okay that's good enough okay all right there is a certain way to get the bubbles out and that's just by banging it like this it's hitting it like this no problem mm -hmm. now in order to make this hole we have to put something in it well, we can take a lot of different items to put in there. I found out that if 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 it had nothing whatsoever, if it had, if it had nothing whatsoever on there, it slides out a lot easier. So I would go like this. I would push this in, okay, just like that, and then I would take a rock to hold it down. Huh. Just that simple. And, and then, then this will pop a out. Within a couple hours, it's going to end up being just like this. I haven't touched That's, this yet. Okay, so what sorry. you want to do is you want to take in. Look at, ooh, it so twisted easily. out. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. what we want to do is knock the, turn it over, and let's see if it comes out of its mold. Okay. Ah, perfect. That was easy. Perfect. That's because this is slippery. Mm -hmm. So now what we do is you can just take a piece of sandpaper or, and, and just knock off the edges, knock this, this edge off. See how easy it comes off? Mm -hmm. The edges will come off, but this is actually pretty hard material. Then what you do is put a little bit of soil, put a tiny plant in there, and you're rocking and rolling. So pretty. Yeah, yeah and you can paint one. it too, by the way. Yeah, yeah this one with the glitter is so pretty. Yeah, we have glitter paint, we have red paint, any color paint kind of paint on there allow it to dry. What I've been doing is been, I've been waiting for about uh, five, six hours, then I paint it. I'll paint it a second time, next time, then it's ready to go. So if anybody wants any more information, you could uh, go online to thingsgreen.com, call me at 1-800-405-NIC, and we'll get, your, we'll get you fixed up. Right, and the yeah. succulents will just continue to grow. Mm -hmm.